Hello everyone. In this video, I will introduce a powerful new feature available in the ANSYS mechanical application, the resource prediction feature. I will share the basics of how it operates, why it was developed, and some of its key benefits. The resource prediction tool forecasts computational resources such as runtime, memory, and disk space required for FEA simulations that use mechanical APDL solvers. Providing these estimates upfront before running a simulation reaps several benefits. You can ensure optimal usage of your HPC resources by enhancing large cluster job scheduling. You can create cost-effective simulation runs by optimizing the cloud's resource allocation. And you can facilitate improvements in budgeting and planning by estimating the cost for cloud users. This feature operates using data from the ANSYS product improvement program known as APIP and uses neural network machine learning. The resource prediction tool analyzes data from a vast array of previous simulations to deliver accurate estimations for new analysis. For those unfamiliar with APIP, it is an entirely optional data collection initiative that was launched in 2017. It gathers anonymous usage data to help us enhance our products and deliver better updates. When you first launch the mechanical APDL application through the graphical user interface, you are presented with a consent dialog box shown to the right. The data collection only commences you if you select yes to opt in. APIP collects non-personally identifiable information, including the CPU type, number of processors, available RAM, operating system versions, whether a session is interactive or batch mode, elements and the material types, along with analysis and the solution data. Most importantly, for the resource prediction tool, APIP collects the total CPU runtime used, total memory consumed, and the disk space used. This is how the APIP workflow goes. When you opt into APIP, the mechanical APDL application begins collecting anonymous usage data during each session. Once the session concludes, the data is transmitted by HTTP to a secure ANSYS web server. From there, ANSYS developers analyzes the aggregated data to build new features, such as the resource prediction tool. Using APIP ensures that you directly contribute to the continuous improvement of ANSYS products, creating a cycle of innovation driven by the real-world applications. The resource prediction feature has significantly evolved over the past few releases, honing the ability to estimate computational resources for various analyses, highlighting the evolution Release 2023 R1 introduced the resource prediction tool supporting time and memory predictions for static analysis using both the sparse direct and the preconditioned conjugate gradient PCG solvers. In the same release, support extended to model analysis using the block Lancho's eigen solver. Then 2024 R1 included this based prediction capabilities for linear static and model analysis, providing comprehensive resource estimates. 2024 R2 included support extended to harmonic analysis using the full method, supporting both mesh and frequency decomposition. This release also introduced predictions for nonlinear static analysis. And 2025 R1 extended support to harmonic analysis using the VT method. Now, in the upcoming release, 2025 
R2. Support has been added for model analysis using the PCG Lancho's EigenSober. Here is a quick demo of how to use the resource prediction tool in the ANSYS mechanical application. This is an example of an 8 million degrees of freedom engine model, which will undergo a nonlinear static analysis involving nonlinear geometric effects, contact, and constraint equations. To estimate the computational resources required for this analysis, you can simply click the, this resource prediction button located adjacent to the solver button. Once activated, the tool provides detailed predictions, including runtime estimates, memory usage, and disk space. The resource prediction tool contains three tabs. The first displays the graph illustrating predictive both tabs for both the sparse direct and the PCG solvers across varying processor core counts. Rather than providing a single estimate, the feature presents a confidence interval quantifying the uncertainty in the prediction. The second tab displays anticipated memory consumption relative to the number of cores used. This insight aids in ensuring that simulations are configured within the available hardware constraints, preventing potential memory-related issues. The last tab predicts the required disk space for simulation results based on current usage. Understanding disk space requirements is crucial for managing storage resources, especially for large-scale simulations. Currently, the resource prediction tool supports estimations for configurations utilizing up to 128 processors. In conclusion, the resource prediction feature enables you to optimize allocation of computational resources enhance simulation efficiency, reduce runtime, and plan for hardware and storage requirements. Thank you.